Good morning, everyone. It is May 23rd, 2014, Friday. And today is the day where we will either have a meteor storm, a meteor shower, or another celestial dud brought about by a comet and scientific predictions. If you guys don't mind, that bird is just translating to the other birds. The clouds are pretty crazy looking. They're low and thick. Good morning. Wakey wakey, eggs and bakey. I said, wakey wakey, eggs and bakey. That's right, it is magic comet surprise day. We will find out, we will find out what is going to happen. I don't know what's gonna happen. Do you know what's gonna happen? Predictions have ranged from a thousand meteors an hour to zero total dud. I guess we're just gonna have to stay tuned. It's crazy looking. Why are those clouds hanging so low? All right, it is exactly, I don't know. We've had no initial reports of any meteor sighting so far. I guess the thing is more like a uh, balloon. We just haven't gotten inside the balloon yet. Nobody can tell what is going to happen. Wow, I have not seen this many muggles interested in, in astronomy since Comet Ison's devastating disaster dud death. Dud death disaster? A perihelion. And I gotta ask, since I had to take the $50 billion worth of blame for that non-comet of the century. Yeah, Ison, I am and was disappointed. If this possibly up to a thousand shooting stars per hour, which is 16.6 .6 per second. If we see zero, A, do I get blamed again? And B, can at least one more person acknowledge and realize if you go by empirical data, that, hey, maybe pro sciences, comet theories aren't everything they're cracked up to be says giraffe meteor shower could light up the bay area skies so it's a camel giraffe yes people think americans hate camels i mean they banished joe camel man for god's sakes and the helicopter moms were like i ain't gonna let joe camel kill my kids man get him the get him the fluffy foo foo fluff out of here yeah here at thor news we fight the foo all the time yeah like new meteor shower influenced by jupiter's gravity the first of its kind of meteor shower is expected I hope you guys don't mind, but I have my dogs alongside, and they're going to translate this video to other dogs who might be listening. So if you got a dog, call them in the room. A new meteor shower influenced by Jupiter's gravity. A first of its kind meteor shower is expected the night of May 23rd and the early morning May 24th. This week's Camel O Pardalis meteor shower is a first because Earth has never run into the debris from this particular Hey man, don't we have any space robots so we can fly out there and take a look and see how big the cloud of dust actually is? Can't our telescope see that far? You know, sometimes when you try and learn and figure out space, it's really confusing. And then you get people who visit you and they're like, we're watching you. I'm like, yeah, that's the whole point. I make videos for you to watch them. But hey, well, influenced by Jupiter's gravity, WTF. A fantastic meteor shower might splash the skies across midnight Friday. Or it might not. The shower is really a mystery, said Peter Janiskens. He's a meteor expert at SETI Institute in Mountain View. Nobody can tell what's going to happen. Well, so you're saying it could be Nibiru and it could kill us all, smashing into the planet, causing utter total destruction? All right, I'm going to make a total doom video next, I guess, on this subject. Thanks, Peter Janiskens. You just both inspired and gave me the get out of debunk troll jail card because since a meteor expert said nobody can tell what is going to happen that means i can take a lot of guesses some educated some uneducated and then some that are totally stupid oh 200 an hour i can't do my math okay truth be told i got a real bad feeling about this maybe it could go two ways one it will be a total dud we'll get like one meteor report across the globe which would be less than the normal average and people will become so disillusioned that like every time science says something about like, oh, hey, look, the calm of the century. Oh, uh, that sucked. And then everybody who believes in it loses faith. And then they're like, oh, we found this brand new meteor storm seven years ago. And it could be bad. Thousand meteors per minute. And then we get nothing. Like one meteor per hour. Or it could be on the flip side of that. Where some of those thousand per hour make it to Earth. The X comet meteors.
become meteorites. That's my dogs. They're translating it to other dogs that might be listening. This is important. If that happens, one, look away from the flash. It can blind you. Two, pray. You might be able to dodge a meteor. Um, remember, so don't watch the flash, but watch the black sky, see if one might be coming. If there are odd reports. Though I do got some questions like, A, how do we not have like a space robot drone that can fly ahead to this cloud and see if it's all dust? Like we should have that technology, right? And B, why did they say that for Earth, it should be a cloud of dust that will burn up in the atmosphere and at minimum cause like a sky fire light show. And it'll make loud pops and the dogs do not like loud pops. So that's what CC is telling the other dogs to be prepared for the loud pops, the sonic booms. And then they said that there might be explosions on the moon from it. I don't know, does dust explode when it hits the moon? That sounds weird, man. For you beginners, the first of its kind, I'm gonna do a rapid fire chain. And I'm gonna cover the story in one way or another with short chain bursts. I'm just gonna cover the story, ask a lot of questions, tell some jokes, give some facts, 